Hey there, good morning everyone. Wednesday the 26th of January 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20 which reads, He who walks with the wise grows wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm. Today we continue having a look at relationships. And we need to understand that not everyone who starts out with you is capable of going where God wants to take you. Sometimes they just don't have the emotional capacity that is required. And other times their vision may be different from what yours is. So how can you know when it is time to leave a relationship? We need to avoid relationships that leave you feeling empty and drained. And this calls for the establishing of some very clear boundaries. There you go. Another favorite word of mine, boundaries. These boundaries need to be laid down at the beginning of the relationship. You do not have to spend your life straightening out misunderstandings, hurt feelings or bruised egos. So how far are you willing to go? How much are you prepared to invest? If you have a look at it from a financial aspect, when you overspend on your financial budget, you go broke. And bankrupting yourself emotionally and physically to make someone feel needed sounds very noble, but it is not. Emotionally and physically bankrupt people end up with a whole lot of other things aside from nervous breakdowns and other causes and complications that are not very nice. And they fail to reach their God-given destination in life because they are dragging around too much baggage with them. Is that like a big 50 kilogram bag of cement that we carry around with ourselves every day and we just keep on adding on and adding on? When you feel that a relationship is not working, stop and review it. View the situation objectively instead of emotionally. Examine all the aspects of it. Sometimes there are certain aspects of a relationship that need to be terminated and other areas strengthened and maintained. It's possible to have relationships that work in one area but not in another. And so we might need to have to compartmentalize, compartmentalize these things to save the relationship. My dear friends, it takes a lot of work and communication, but it is worth it. There may be common interests that need to be maintained, while others need to be removed before all goes down the drain. May the Lord be with you, may he bless you, may he cause his face to shine upon you, and be with you always. Goodbye.